Now, spooky season is upon us, and if you're in the mood for a fright, then you are in luck. Having made its debut in London's West End, 222, a ghost story, has had theatre-goers on the edge of their seats, and the cast has included lots of famous faces, including Lily Allen, Cheryl, Laura Whitmore, and our very own Frankie Bridge. Now, two former EastEnders stars are taking the show on the road around the UK, and here to tell us more, please welcome Joe Absalom and Louisa Lytton. <laughs> Nice to be here. All right, guys. Nice to see you. Yeah, good to <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, guys. It's real, real, real people. Yeah, yeah, real people. It's nice, isn't it, to have an audience? Yes. We missed them in lockdown. We really yeah, missed yeah. them in lockdown. Yeah. It's good to have them back. Well, you've got big audiences now. This is doing so well, 222. Apparently, yeah, yeah, it seems to be. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of people there every night, which is good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's what you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good start. Because <laughs> it did, um, it did, Louisa, have really good reviews in the West End. So, yes. you know, when a new cast comes in, you're taking it on tour. So you've already started, so you're now on tour of the UK. Yeah. Um, does that, is there a pressure there when you go, oh, uh, gosh, well, we've got to take over now and take it around the country? Yeah, I definitely... Cos I think they've re they recast every few months, so we're not the first sort of people to take over. And obviously we're now touring the country, so we've got a whole new audience of people yeah. that haven't been into town to see it. Um, but we are, we're, we're selling out, Joe. Yeah. Come on, sell us out. <laughs> they say, they say, they always, well. they always say it's sold out and then you're on the stage and you can see a few seats. You know? <laughs> yeah. oh, I mustn't get obsessed about that. <laughs> no, I know. Getting no, my lines. Yes. I but, loved it. I went to see it in the West End. Exactly. I absolutely loved it. And I what I love is the fact that, and obviously the same thing today, you have to keep it a secret. Oh, yeah. Oh, people so do. And they yeah. are, because yeah. I think people appreciate, like... I wanted to tell people, but then I didn't want to tell people because mm. it would ruin it. And it's, 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 so it's you, so it's good you play Jenny good and Ben. Yeah. So people that haven't seen it, yeah. um, just tell us, Joe. Ben, what's it about? What's the play about? Play is about a sort of dinner party that starts with people. There's two people that know each other, and they have bring their new partners essentially, and then it kind of unravels. There's lots, you know, there's lots of uh, things that start happening, and there's a specific time when. Uh, Jenny, it's, it's, your character yeah. is uh, saying that things happen. So we then basically say, well, let's stay up till that time to see. So this is what the two twenty two. That is the twenty two minutes. Things have gone two. wrong on the stage. Is that right? What's that? It's things so have gone wrong. So on much the stage. we can't Everything goes say wrong. without giving away <laughs> yeah. the whole. All oh, right, but to make it work, yes. lots of technical things happen that are not, you know, that the, the audience in the theatre can't expect. Yes, yes. But right. when they don't go right, what's it like? <laughs> we all panic. The thing is, <laughs> you can get away with quite a lot because we know the script and we know what's supposed to happen. So sometimes things don't quite happen, and we sort of look at each other. The hardest thing is not to laugh. Yeah, say, you can't that's laugh for some that. reason really that's difficult all. because yeah. I, I'm, you, you guys are professionals. Well. You don't, yeah, yeah. you know, laugh when you. <laughs> yeah. well, well, being amazing. on stage, you have to <laughs> sort of oh, remain yeah. in, in the moment, and you know, for some reason, the, when things go wrong, they. In that environment, they're really funny, you know. Because you can yeah. improvise, you know, if it's your if it's your lines, but like if props go wrong, you know, things that are supposed to move don't move, or things that aren't <laughs> supposed to move. Yesterday, the other week, a lamp fell off, didn't it? That's not supposed yeah. to be more off. spooky than in a way. Exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. And all I was thinking is, oh no, now the audience are going to think that this is part of the actual story, <laughs> but it's not. So do I pick yeah. it up? Do I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think this uh, whole thing of the theatrical th obsession with ghosts and stuff is really on a roll at the moment because um, David Threlfall's going to open in the haunting, the end of yeah, the yeah, haunting, yeah. and there's that. a TV series uh, uh, about yeah. that as well. So yeah. people are really obsessed. With I live near that house actually. It's thinking. something quite weird about yeah. when the. So the audience, when we start the show, we can hear all the audience, and there's a real buzz. Yeah. And you get a group of people together in a room and say, "You're going to, you know, you're in for a scary show." Um, there's a sort of anticipation that mm. you don't get with a lot of plays, get I think. Nervous. So that that yeah. feeling of uh, when I went to see Two Twenty Two as well, mm. uh, sitting in the audience, you, you're kind of on edge already before it's even started because yeah. you're not quite sure what's going to happen or what's going to. What... And you know something's going to happen, kind of. You're hoping it's it does because you bought a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's going to be—it's obviously going to be scary because. But then when it happens, it's so scary. It makes it more jumpy because you're yeah. Like, yeah. patient. It's like hiding yeah. And also being with, 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 in a room out. of people as well, you sort of things seem heightened when you're with a group of, sort yeah. of other do you, humans. Do either of you believe in ghosts and supernatural? Have you ever seen anything? I do. We spoke about this a lot in rehearsals, didn't we? We sort of sat down and was like, who believes, who doesn't? I definitely do. I've had quite a lot of experiences um, in my house. Have you? But I'm married what, to someone who's now? a non-believer. So the house you're in now? The house I'm in now. No, like what? Really? Yeah, well, I'd have to have sell and move out. Like, yeah, you, you, you weren't listening off. to me. <laughs> what kind of thing? Um, just things like things moving. 
I mean, it's, you know, yeah. things moving around. Like, the other week, literally, I was downstairs and Ben came downstairs and was like, oh, so what's wrong? He was like, you was upstairs, you just walked past me upstairs. Just, just tiny no, things. No, that's not. But they, they build I've up. Move, get out of there. <laughs> you know, out of there. I said that was your other one, but that wasn't me. <laughs> do, you, um, do you believe, Jay? I'd like to, but yeah, but I'm not really... Yeah, we, yeah, we've had similar things in our house where when we moved in, there was definitely a weird energy. It's an energy? Yeah. But so it's a good energy now. Any, a no, I didn't really thing. see it. It was more a feeling of someone shouting in my ear. Oh, she's... That was like, like, wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's... So, yeah. um, EastEnders, I know people will obviously talk about EastEnders. You weren't on it together, though, were you? No, so... I left in 99. I thought, yeah. were you born there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so we young. No, we so weren't, old. We weren't there the same time. No, but it's both so, so funny young. that everybody that's ever done EastEnders, you just feel like you know everybody yes. else yes. that yes. does EastEnders. Yeah. It's a family there. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, we um, were both. Can you go back? Would you go back? What's the story? Where are you supposed to be at I the moment? I went to Leeds on a coach. <laughs> 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 yeah. Some people try and get thrown in a river, so they get yeah. shot. Blown up, so and I, I went on, on, a on a coach, not even on a train. Well, that's yeah. returnable. That's yeah. returnable. I don't know, it was on my ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't yeah. killed off. You weren't killed off. No, either. I'm in prison. Oh. 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 In prison, really? Yeah, 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 she's in prison. Oh, okay. You could both so potentially could go together. Yeah. I could break you? you out. Is it near Leeds? <laughs> 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 I only work around the north, you know. Uh, <laughs> would you if they asked? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Never say never. Yeah, of course. Aww, OK. Yeah. Well, listen, um, well, you can't at the moment because you're too busy. Yes. Going around the country, <laughs> touring Brighton tonight. Brighton no? tonight, yeah, everyone yeah. in Brighton, if you're watching. There's no tickets, uh, 222, apparently. 2.22, a ghost story. <laughs> uh, it's touring around the UK now until... Uh, you're in it till December. Yeah, we're yeah. in it till December, and then a new cast, new cast. is starting next year for yeah. another... Yeah, I think it's just going to go on... Well, listen, best of yeah. luck. It's had brave reviews already, so mm -hmm. you're doing a great job. Thank you very much, Louisa and Joe. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs>